YouTube, it's your girl Bofina One, bringing you guys in another YouTube video. And recently, Microsoft has decided to create the Xbox All Access subscription. Right now, the total cost of the Xbox One X hardware with two years of Xbox Live and Xbox Game Pass is $859.93. With using the deal, you end up paying $839.76. The Xbox One S deal is better with $527.76 for two years or $659.93 worth of hardware and subscriptions. So you might be wondering, you know, why is Microsoft paying you $20 to essentially accept free financing? Well, it's because the company needs to do something in order to save, in order to sell hardware. So for those of you who don't know, you know, Xbox has kind of been falling down. Um, and not necessarily saying that, you know, like no one plays it, but it's just that the console itself has, has kind of decreased in popularity, decreased in sales due to basically, you know, people just not wanting to buy it because, you know, maybe it could be things such as exclusives or, you know, maybe how the hardware is built. Just a lot of different factors kind of go into this. Since Xbox is trying to play catch up, you know, because they're competing against the PlayStation 4, they're competing against the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, they're trying to basically, like I said, play catch up and they're trying to do little gimmicks like, oh, hey, if you get this, you know, you'll drop down in price. It won't be as much compared to this. And so that's basically what this all access subscription really is. It's basically a bundle of the game plus, you know, the Xbox Live and all this stuff in one at a cheaper deal. They're basically trying to say, hey, you know, if you buy this, this is going to be cheaper than if you just buy the system and buy everything separately. So they're trying to get people to come over to their system because quite a few people have left Xbox, have left that community in general, just due to, you know, the quality of the hardware, due to the, I guess in a sense you could say, quality of the games. You know, Xbox has lost a lot of their exclusives. So they're trying to get people in a sense back on board because I feel like as time keeps going on, if they don't watch out, you know, PlayStation 4 is gonna, is, is gonna kill them basically. So, and the Switch, you know, all the other, all the, all the other cons that they're competing with. So I'd love to, know, love to know you guys' thoughts about this down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Fan Army.